think my boat shrunk. No, it is time to start working on this again. Um, well, thank you for your patience. Uh, I was supposed to be doing more with this car um, a couple of weeks ago. Well, I decided, or we decided, it was more important to get my boat out. So we did. Um, we've been spending a couple of weeks now in the fjord. Great weather, having fun. A couple of issues with the engine, but nothing major. Now it's time to fix the car that has to pull the boat out of the water again. Which means I have to get the transmission out. And that's an issue. Well, as you probably can tell, there's not much room here to take the transmission out. Which means I have to raise the car. Um, I took off the running board on this side. Uh, if you remember, it was uh, put in with a lot of self-tappers. Thank you, Dalton. Um, but transmission is coming out as soon as possible. So I need to lift the car, make sure it's quite secure because I'll be crawling around under it. And uh, I'm not entirely sure how to do that yet because I'm not about to splurge another 75 bucks on uh, jack stands. Oh, sorry. Um, no, it will be 75 bucks on jack stands. Oh, uh, that is the carburetor for my boat. But, this will be... Sorry, you guys were not allowed to be at a long for this one but then again how much fun is it to watch me toil well piece of plywood in the back supporting the jack stands and the jack lifting up the ass of the car front is already in the air and i now have a piece of plywood on the ground which should make it easier to slide that transmission out once i get it loose also, you can see what I'm hoping is going to be a good idea for a jack lift. I've already tested it. It is not lifting nearly as high as I want it to, but that's okay. Because once I get it down, I can just drop it off the jack and just drag it out. But I need to empty it first. So, that'll be next. Let's get this under. Let's see. Is. Get a wrench. I just weld an ordinary nut to the transmission. And um, well, why don't you come on? I'll show you. Oh, I just welded that to the transmission. Now it is not that windy out here, but I would kind of like not to uh, get myself completely covered in oil. So why don't we use the jack what it was intended for, like jacking up. Uh, uh, let's see. There we go. And up here we go. That is actually black and lumpy. Safe to say I need to change that. Okay. So, the transmission is uh, finally coming out. I gotta show you guys this. It's a bit worse than I thought. Uh, yeah. 
they're broken in multiple places. So that's uh, <laughs> that's not good. The one on that side looks perfectly fine. I'm going to change them out anyway, but that's um, that's not good. Okay, let's get back to this one, shall we? Okay, so I've got to take the drive shaft out. That's one of the first things. She's already up on jack stand, so that shouldn't be a problem. But I don't remember what size that is. Looks like an 11 or something like that. What do I have the numbers for? No, I don't. Okay. Nope. Turn the time. to have tools but not when it's the wrong size okay so I've got off one and three bolts the angle on this one does make sure that I can't really get it out because the bolt head is sticking but bass in here uh, should be able to poke it out I just need to go get one hang on no I'll have to do it twice because I want to. Let's see. Maybe too big for this job. It should be. Well, W to 40 it is. I'm not sure if it's going to help, but it can't make it worse. Make sure you don't blow out your end caps. Ah, there we go. Because these are full of little roller bearings or needle bearings or whatever the hell they're called. And also, don't try to take it out where the grease fitting is, because you might break it. You don't want it to do that. But, well, this one can come out completely and obviously, and I can start knocking this one back. Just to keep the bearings in place. That could have gone better if I didn't have a lot of grease on my fingers. Not sure it's WD-40, but that's okay. I'll just wrap some more duct tape on it. If it doesn't fix the problem, you're not using enough. There we go. Drive shaft is back in so we don't lose them
up there right behind this one there's a cotter pin I need to take out that's the linkage for the transfer case on the other side of the transmission we have the linkage for the gear shift I have to take that out as well once that is done I'll have to put the jack underneath it so I can support it here why I take out those four bolts dropping the transmission by a couple of inches so I can actually reach up on top to take out the 14 millimeter bolts on top of the transmission and then of course cooler lines vacuum holes and of course not to forget converter bolts those actually have to come out as soon as possible so I don't forget them yeah but uh, first, that thing, because I'm betting that's going to be driving me insane. Okay, so I actually got off the front drive shaft. I whacked it a couple of times with a bigger hammer. Now I can actually get my hands in here. But I want to loosen up those bolts first, which means WD-40 and an 1116s. So, you get the pleasure of watching me crawl again. Dang it. I might end up in needing a bucket for this. Yes, I know I told you not to use a bucket for the bolts, but unless you get that gonna end up in the gravel if you can't put them back where they belong. And these can't do that. Ow! Well, that was a bit more work than I expected, but uh, hey, it's done ish. I have touch me cooler lines off and the dust cover for the converter. Now we just need to get the bolts out from the converter and then we are getting to a point where I can actually start feel like I'm getting somewhere but it is very very dirty in here. Uh, let's see what's that was. which means that they are 15s. Oh, where the heck is that one? There we go. Yes, yes, there it is. And leverage. Oh, it's turning the engine. That was not, that was not the idea right now. Somehow I got it, but let's try it. Oh, there it is. That might actually work. But let's try it first. goes faster than the other one. So, let me guess on how many extensions I'm going to be needing in order to take out the two top bolts on this one. That was almost my face. Fun. 
Let's look at that's that's what three I think. I think my extension is long enough. If it isn't, I'm in trouble. <sighs> okay. Time she comes out. Let's see. My mess. And also, this is hot, 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 hot. Oh, that's burning. Okay, let's see. Will I be able to find this actually in the middle? might actually be the dipstick. everything else. Working. Now at least it will not drop on my face, unless I am stupid enough to put my face under the things. Okay, so, oh, that 
to take that one off. That's about as far as she goes for the moment, but I think I can pull her out of this pipe too. Make sure I don't drop any more bolts in the most There we go, and I can just slide this one. Well, I should be able to just... I said that many times, I should just be able to... <laughs> Usually doesn't go that well, but there's one wooden block out. Almost yeah. broke off. Okay, then we'll have to weld that afterwards. Um, you're going down. Now, there we go. tail the transmission is out I'm trying to get the transfer case off this is the last bolt and let's see I think I'm gonna do the smart thing once so I'm cutting this off Get out of my pants. There we go. Oh, she's leaking. A lot. There we go. So. Transmission is out. That was hard work. So I'm going to do the sensible thing right now. Let's have a beer about it. Because uh, tomorrow we start cleaning the case and set up in the garage so that I have a place to work. And uh, then we're going to get into tearing it down and fixing what's wrong with it. But uh, for now, cheers. Oh, and thank you for your patience. I know it's been a long time, but we had to get the boat in the water first. That's something I promised my wife. So, But this is, this is okay. This is really okay. I like it.